Hey everyone, welcome back to another SAT math video. So this question says the equation above defines a circle in the xy plane where the coordinates are the center of the circle. So I've written out the actual circle equation out here. You can see that our current equation doesn't match that. So we can't really base our coordinates um, here. So we can't take 20 or 16 or any of that. But essentially to find our coordinates, we know that h and k represent the coordinates of the center of the circle. So first off, we need to convert the top equation to our standard circle equation form, right? And the way we're going to do this is to find a perfect square trinomial. Um, and we can do that by using completing the squared. So let's start off with x squared plus 20x. And to complete the square, what are you going to do when there's not a coefficient in front of the x squared term? Let's write, write this out, negative 20. Is you take half the b value, so in our case, the b value for this first x squared part is going to be 20 and you can take half of that and square it. so half of 20 is 10 and you square it, that's 100 right and we want to add it here and so whatever you do to one side you want to do to the other side right to keep the balance so you're not manipulating the actual uh, equation here so then we have the second part i'll switch colors for this let's use blue plus y squared plus 16y and so we're going to do the same thing, take half of the b value, 8 squared is 64. So we add 64 to both sides. And so now we can actually get it into our circle equation form because watch what happens. Uh, so here this is going to factor out to just x plus 10 squared. All right, and this side is going to become y plus 8 squared. And this thing over here, this computes to 144. Now it matches up with the circle formula, right? Uh, this is 144. That's messy. All right, 144. There we go. So now we can actually find the value. So we know that it can't be any of these. It can't be 20 and 16, right? So it's is it positive or negative? Well, in our actual equation, it's positive 10 and positive 8. Does that mean those are the coordinates of the center of the circle? Well, no, because if we have a positive here, what that means is that h is negative and k is negative. Now, why? Well, I'll give you a quick example here. So if you have x minus, this is the standard form, it had a negative value of h, it'll look like this, right? You're taking, you're subtracting a negative, which gives you a positive, as you can see here. And therefore, our answer here is just 10, 8. 